What's the ruling on drying one of the limbs before completing the wudu? The reason people ask such questions is that the scholars had made six pillars for wudu. One, washing the face. Two, washing the arms till the elbows. Three, wiping the head and the ears. Four, washing the feet to the ankles. Five, the order. You have to begin one, two, three, four. Not one, three, two, four. Six, to be simultaneous. Meaning that you do it one after the other without leaving a gap going, answering the phone or opening the door or checking the microwave if the food is cooked or not. Simultaneousness. So people, especially jurors, when they identified what simultaneous means, they came to the conclusion that the limbs don't dry before you finish the wudu. Because if you washed your right arm and somebody knocked on the door, so you interrupted your wudu, you went and you spoke to the milkman and you took the order and you paid him for the next month and you went back to the toilet, you'll find that the water on your face and on your right uh, arm has already dried. Scholars say that this means it was not simultaneous. Do the wudu from the beginning. So people thought that the dryness of a limb, even if I'm in the actual uh, uh, wudu process, means that I have to do it all over again. And this is problematic. This is not from the Quran or from the Sunnah. Why? I'm making wudu. I washed my face. Now it's time to wash my arms. So I roll up my sleeves, which leads to drying of my hands. So now I say, hmm. I think I have to do my wudu again. So I do my wudu again. And when it comes to raising my feet to the sink so I can wash them, I touch my jeans or my trousers or my thobe, and this leads to drying them. Maybe I am in summer in Saudi Arabia when it's 45 degrees. So just as I finished washing my face and started doing my arms, my face is dry. Oh, oh, I have to do it over again. No, you don't. So drying a limb, as in the case, for example, for someone who washes his right foot, then he wants to put on his socks and wears his uh, a shoe, then wash his left foot. This is legitimate because it is simultaneous, despite the fact that he had worn his socks and this does not have any impact on his wudu.